Hello, Sairam students. Yes, let's continue with our subject mathematics. So, today we'll be doing part 3 of chapter 11. Now, children, in the last few classes, we have already studied about conversion of percentage to fraction and decimals and also conversion of fraction and decimal to percentage. So, today let us continue with the chapter and learn a new topic that is on percentage of a number or a quantity. Yes? <clears throat> okay. Now, to find the percentage of a number or a quantity, we change the percentage into fraction and off to the sign of multiplication. Yes? So, what we have to do is, we have to just change the percentage into fraction and off to the sign of multiplication. So, let us start with an example. Now, here you have to find 15% of 70. Okay. So, the first part, that is first point, what we have to do is, we have to change the percent into fraction. What is the percent here? 15%. So, this we will change it into fraction and write it as 15 upon 100 and then multiply it by 70. <coughs> Okay, now here you can cancel this, 1, 0. Now 15 into 7 is 105 upon 10. I will write the answer using the decimal point because it is divided by 10. Now as it is divided by 10, so your decimal point will be, that is after one digit, that is 10.5. So your answer is 10.5 of 70. Okay. So, 15% of 70 is 10.5. Now, you can also do it, it, do it this in one more method. That is, first write the fraction. That is 15 upon 100 into 70. Cancel this to, oh, sorry, 1, 0. Now, here 10 and 15 is divisible by 5. That is, 5 twos are 10 and 5 threes are 15. Now just multiply this 3 into 7 that is 21 upon 2. Now divide this 21 by 2. Now when you divide this 21 by 2, 2 ones are 2. Okay. Taking this 1 down. It is not divisible so we will put a 0 here. Take this 1 down. Add a 0 to carry out the division. Now when you are adding up 0, you will put the decimal point here. 2 5s are 10. Okay. So, your final answer is 10.5. Okay. Now, based on this, let us start with our exercise sums. Exercise 11.2, which you have to solve it in your notebook, students. Yes. The first sum for you is find the value of the given numbers. The first one is 22% of 145. Okay, now the first step what we have to do is we will change this person to fraction. So, we'll write it as the fraction form that is 22 upon 100. Off will change into multiplication sign and then 145. Okay, now here what you can do is 145 and 100 is divisible by 2. Oh, sorry, divisible by 5. 5, 2's are 10, 4 carry over here, 5, 9's are 45, 5, 2's are 10 here and 0 here. Now, when again 20 and 22, it is divisible by 2, 2 11's are 22, 2 10's are 20. Now, when you multiply this 29 into 11, you will get the answer has 319 upon 10. Now, when you divide this, your answer will be 31.9 using a decimal point. Or further, what you can do is, if you don't want to cancel it, you will just multiply 145 into 22. You will write the answer and then divide it by 100. That is, place the decimal point. Okay? Just see here, we have done it here like this. In the slide, check your answer. 22 upon 100 multiplied by 145 so 3190 is your answer when you multiply these two numbers that is 145 into 
22 gives you 3190. Now divide it by 100, cancel this 0. Now same way 319 upon 10. So using a decimal point, your answer will be 31.9. Yes. Coming to the next sum. 73 percent of 204. Now 73 percent, when you multiply these two numbers, that is 73 into 204, you will get the answer as 14,892. 14,892 upon 100. Yes, that means after two decimal places, you have to put a decimal point. So your answer will be 148.9. Okay. Yes. Coming to the next one. Now here we have to find the value of the given quantities. Now we have already learned how to find the value of given numbers. Now we will just find out the value of the given quantities. Now here is an example for you. The first one is 25% of 18 kg. So first what we will do is we will change this percentage into fraction so you'll write it as 25 upon 100 multiplied by 18 now 118 is divisible by 2 so 2 nines are 18 2 fives are 10 and 0 again 25 and 50 is divisible by 5 5 fives are 25 5 tens are 50 so this will be 45 upon 10 okay now it is upon 10 so place the decimal point so your final answer will be 4.5 now here you have to write the unit that is kg it is given as we have we are finding the value of the given quantities so while writing the answer we will write the unit okay or else what you can do is you can just multiply that is 25 upon 100. Upon multiplied by 18. 25 upon 100 multiplied by 18. Now here you can just multiply 25 into 18. When you multiply you will get the answer has 450 upon 100. This way also you can do first multiply these two numbers and then divide it by 100. Cancel the 0. Now it is 45 upon 10, so your final answer is 4.5 kg. Yes, coming to the exercise sums, same exercise 11.2, we have to find the value of the given quantities. Now the first sum for you is 35% of 215 meter. Okay, so first step, we will go step by step, so we will first change this into fraction, so that will be 35 upon 100 into 215 now when you multiply these two numbers you will get the answer has 7525 upon 100 okay so placing the decimal point as it is divided by 100 so your answer will be 75.25 now, what is the unit here? The unit is meter. So, you write the answer as meter. So, your final answer is 75.25 meter. Coming to the next sum. Yes, okay. The, before that, the working of the slide uh, sum is shown here. You can just solve it and then check your answer with this slide. 35 into 215 gives you 7525. Divided by 100, that is 75.25 meter. Coming to the next one. 50% of 725 gram. Okay, now here we have just cancelled this 0 here. Now 5 and 10, it is divisible by 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are is 10. So that will be 725 upon 2. Now when 725 upon 2 Oh, sorry 725 upon 2 we have to divide it so 725 divided by 2 will give the answer that is 362.5 gram okay now when you divide this 
2 3s are 6 you divide it you already know how to carry out the division so when you divide you will get the answer as 362 now 2 3s are is 6 7 minus 6 is 1 2 down 2 6s are 12 12 minus 12 is 0 5 2 2s are 4 now 4 5 minus 4 is 1 Add a 0 to carry out the division. Point 2 5s are 10. So the answer is 362.5. Yes. Okay. Now based on this. Finding the value. That is based on the percentage. We will solve some word problems. Now first word problem. That is an example for you. Now if 16. Out of 80 oranges are spoiled. What percentage of oranges are spoiled? Now here the number is given. That is out of 80 oranges. 60 oranges are spoiled. So you have to find the percentage that is for 16. For the number 16. So what we will do is we will write the number. Now total number of oranges is 80 here. Now out of 80, 16 oranges are spoiled. So first what you can do is you can divide this 16 by 80 and then multiply it by 100. Okay. So when you divide this 16 by 80 you will get the answer as 0 0.2. Now 0 0.2 to find the percentage you will multiply it by 100. So that will give you. So place the decimal point. So your final answer is 20 percent yes or what you can do is you can just directly write the fraction that is 16 out of 80 oranges are spoiled now to find the percentage you'll multiply it by 100 now simplify according to the cancellation which are 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 now 10 twos are is 20 anyways you can do the sum Okay, so 20% of the oranges are spoiled. Okay, now remember that to express a number has a percentage by another number. Divide the given number by the total number and multiply the result by 100. That is first you can divide it. That is when I uh, as I have written it 16 upon 80. First divide the number 60 by 80 and then multiply it by 100. Or you can write the fraction and then simultaneously simplify it okay okay now word problems of exercise 11.2 now all the sums whichever exercise sums are there you have to solve it in your notebook now the first sum is there are 45 students in a class out of which 28 are boys now what percentage of girls are there in the class now children here 45 students are there total out of that 28 are boys but we have to find the percentage of girls now before we find the percentage of girls we have to find out how many girls are there in the class now to find out how many girls are there in the class what we will do is we will subtract that is total number of students minus the number of boys now 45 minus 28 is 17 okay now 17 girls out of 45 are that is 17 are girls out of 45 now to find the percentage of girls you will multiply it by 100 or what you can do is first divide these two numbers and then multiply it by 100 so here we will do it directly 5 nines are 45 5 twos are 10 and then 0 yes now what you can do is you multiply this number 20 into 17 that will be 17 twos are is 334 add that zero so that will be 340 upon 9 now when you divide this 340 upon 9 so your answer will be 37.7 percent yes so 37.7% of percentage of girls are there in the class. 
so let's see the working the next slide okay now here the total number of students are 45 boys are 28 so to find out how many girls are there in the class we subtracted the total number minus the number of boys so we got the number of girls now to find the percentage of girls that is 17 out of 45 multiplied by 100 again simplified here 5 nines are 45 5 twos are 10 see now multiply these two numbers when you multiply these two numbers you get the answer has 340 so 340 upon 9 that means you will divide it now when you divide 340 by 9 you get the answer has 37.7 percent of girls are there in the class yes okay coming to the next word problem now here there are 180 working days in the first term of a school if Kanika has 75 percent attendance how many days did Kanika attend the school in the first term so here what we have to do is here it is 75 percent of 180 working days so that is 75 will first write the fraction to find the percentage that will be 75 upon 100 now when you write it has 75 percent of 180 it is this way okay so we have to find the value of the number so here 75 percent of 180 means first you will change it into fraction that will be 75 upon 100 now you will multiply it by 180 that is the total number of working days cancel this one zero 10 and 18 is divisible by 2 2 fives are 10 2 nines are 18 yes now 75 and 5 it is divisible by 5 5 ones are 5 5 ones are 5 5 fives are 25 now when you multiply 15 multiplied by 9 you, that will be 45 135 so that means Kanika attended the school in the first term that is for how many days 135 days that is 75 percent of 180 is 135 days okay children so read the sum thoroughly so that you understand whether you have to find the value of the number or you have to just find the percentage yes okay let's see the working of this sum in the slide okay total number of working days is 180 so 75 percent attendance so that will be 75 upon 100 into 180 now this zero is cancelled here okay so 75 multiplied by 18 is 1350 divided by 10 so again you can cancel the zero that will be 135 upon 1 which is 135 days so kanika attended school for 135 days yes children now based on this home assignment sums for you which you have to practice or do it in your homework part the first sum is find the value of the given numbers and quantities that is first one is 10 percent of 62 68 percent of 96 20 percent of 980 gram and 41% of 150 centimeter. Now, while finding the value of the given quantities, you have to write the unit. Okay. And one word problem for you that is in a flower vase, there are four lilies, four pink roses, five carnations, and three dahlias. What percentage of pink roses are there in the flower vase? So, first find the total number of flowers, and out of that, find the percentage of pink roses okay so that's all for today children with this we complete the portion of chapter 11 in the next class we'll be starting with the new chapter till then thank you for today and take care